Hello guys, it's Cyclance here. So welcome back to my channel if you've been following me for a while and welcome to the new people. I'm Emily, I'm a French illustrator that sometimes posts art videos. It's been months since I made one and I'm going to explain briefly why and how things are in my life and then I'll jump into talking about this new artwork that I just completed. Okay, so update. Um, basically, I spent quarantine making art um, I went back to paintings, I learning to play the piano, and at least trying. <laughs> um, I also meditating a lot, focusing on my mental health and connecting as much as possible with my family and friends. It was a, a hard times because I struggle with a binging disorder, I struggle with uh, isolation a lot, and when I don't have time with my relatives or close people to me, I tend to have my anxiety just go over the roof and I think it's a thing that a lot of us have been struggling with even people with no anxiety I'm sure they struggled a lot and uh, myself having uh, still trying to cure my depression and my binge eating disorder um, it was a hard time because for the first three weeks or so I struggled so, so much that I had a mental breakdown. <laughs> um, but I got my therapist on the phone and I stayed away from like news and all the bad influence from like the media and all. And I've dived into my creative space, focusing on at least doing the best I could do. I went outside maybe like once or twice a week. And I also uh, did my best to at least not gain any weight, and I actually succeeded in that. Uh, so props to myself, like, um, I did the best I could do during those times. Uh, France was in lockdown for about six weeks, uh, so it's not much. I know in other countries the lockdown was a lot longer, but um, it was still kind of hard. Anyways. Uh, thank God also my best friend actually lives across the hall, so um, I had a lot of time with her. I'm grateful for the fact that nobody close to me got sick, and I'm so deeply sorry if you struggle during those hard times. I know most of my viewers are from the USA, and now things are even worse there. Um, and like, there's a lot of things going on in the world. There's a lot of struggle, a lot of minorities are affected, and it just showcases how messed up some systems are so yeah um i just hope we'll beat this shit out of this pandemic uh as soon as possible so i took time off youtube for a few reasons that i talked about in previous updates but long story short i just felt like it was a lot of work for me and not much in return but also i've come to terms with the fact that i'm not going to be a big channel i'm just going to connect with whoever joins and watch my content and do the videos i feel like doing if I'm happy with the content itself, it's genuine, authentic, I'm sure you'll like it too. Um, sorry for leaving really, it's just hard to keep creating video for nearly like a decade and still for some reason I don't really find any like my spot. Um, but I tried many things and I think most of the videos I made are okay in my eyes, but I changed so much in the past year and even more compared to three years ago that now I need to change things up here again and start fresh start making videos that reflects who I am if I if this means like talking a bit more scripting some of the content uh, making more tutorials or art vlogs um, anything really that I feel like making I will do it uh, I want to touch more on like style and finances business all the things around art as a career um, basically, I want to show more of who I am as a person, not just my artworks. I have other passions, other crafts. I um, want to turn the channel into my channel, not just the art channel. Um, I still be creative, for sure, because I am a very creative person, but I do love singing and dancing and writing. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed with plants and my cats and like... I'm basically I'm back here with like no set schedule, but I will try to post every other week on the weekend and content that I feel like is me. So yeah, if you'd like to see the next videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss them. Any interaction will help so much because I'm trying to come back on YouTube. So anything, comment, like, subscribe, you know how things goes. Okay, so let's now talk about the artwork. 
Uh, as you can already tell, I'm working on a crystal. So this is like a rainbow quartz kind of inspired crystal. It's the first of a 10 piece series that I'm working on. I've decided to stick to like 10 pieces. It's still like a big series, but I just, I don't want to change my style completely and go from like characters to only making gemstones. I know sometimes people, artists, like they found a, th a thing that they like to work on and they do it for years. Um, I am definitely obsessed with gems. I've loved them so much, but I'm not going to paint like 50 of those. I'm going to focus on a series that will showcase my like the, the ones that I love the most and have fun with those. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. But it's strange in a way because I don't really like jewelry as much. I don't I have like a very very minimal <laughs> stick like jewelry collection. I don't like them, especially when they're stuffed with diamonds. But raw organic natural gems are so epic, like wonderful. I literally any time I stumble like a, a gemstone, like a stone shop I spend 30 minutes just looking at everything not buying them because they're super expensive but um one day for sure i will have like a shelf with a collection um because i love them so much the colors the shine the way they're made by nature and how they change color under the sun i mean it takes thousands and thousands of years to create a crystal and some take even longer than that so minerals are like just and sit as they are any stone but gems and crystals are just so mind-blowing to my eyes i have a few myself like i said um maybe i'll do a video to show like a collection i also created my own crystals uh at home with like some tutorials that i found online so that was definitely a lot of fun and uh yeah i will definitely update you like if i have a proper collection but until i can afford to buy more uh, what better ways to actually show my love than to paint some? So, because I'm a sucker for colors, I had to start with this rainbow crystal. But the next pieces will focus more on different shapes and colors, texture. Um, I'm not going to just do a, like a realistic crystal. Like if I pick one that is mainly uh, gold tones with like brown and all, I'll still incorporate some purple or blue in the shadows. I'm still going to be like my style but not just rainbow crystals basically um maybe also create my own crystals like mixed like two kinds that you can't find in nature that would be fun so um, the process for that piece so if you've been following my journey for a while you already know kind of how i work but if you're new here basically i'm working with watercolors and uh and that a tiny bit of wash I'm not using as much as, as I used to, like mixed media wise. Um, I'm not really working with my markers and all. I really like to use watercolors because they have like light fast features and they allow me to really build up colors and contrast. And then I'm adding back some translucent colors like you would see through glass or in this case, a crystal. It's like building organic shapes. It's like it's not super precise, but it has a geometric pattern. At first, I wanted to incorporate flower petals because I'm also obsessed with flowers, but um, um, I only like a bigger crystal, like maybe like a one piece crystal and create like a embedded design in it. It will show better. So I'll definitely work on this concept in the series, but not for this one. So the key to build shading here is to work with multiple layers to create color contrast. It's hard to explain um, because the process is kind of fast, but if you want an in-depth tutorial on a crystal texture, let me know in a comment and I'll make a video specially for it. I think it could be nice during the series, um, not just doing time lapses of the crystals, but like an in-depth tutorial on some parts of it. I'm not going to record 10 videos of crystals. Maybe I will record like four or five in one tutorial. So let me know if you'd like to see that. But yeah, it was so relaxing to work on this. For once, I only focused on textures and shapes, no character, no pattern, just colors and style. I had it some gold accent in the end with the gold foil method. I'm starting to be obsessed with that. It's so nice to be able to stick it all and then remove the excess and bam it's just so shiny like not sure i was wondering i hesitated um in the process i didn't know if i wanted to have it in a background just like showing uh and then the crystal just popping or if i wanted to add some gold like shadow egg 
uh, on the crystal itself. I think it look it would look nice both ways. So in the next piece, I might just stay away from the background foil and work on little accents on the actual crystal, especially if I'm using one that has the gold um, stone color base. Uh, I don't have any name in my head. I, I, I'm so bad with the names of the actual gems, but there are a lot of those that already have some gold shimmer to it so i think it would look nice if i use that um yeah i also have rose gold foil and silver foil so i will definitely work with those uh if i'm focusing more of on the cold tone crystal and any pink copper based stone will look so nice with the rose gold or even maybe like switch it up and have actually silver with the other colors, but I'll definitely uh, use different kinds of uh, foiling. So if you're a fan of gems like me and you'd like to see me work on your favorite one, tell me below and the most liked ID will be featured in the series. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much what I had to say. I'm doing okay. Still working on being a better person, aligning myself truly with who I am and who I want to be. I'm making huge progress. It's it's hard. It's hard to find yourself, um, but I'm, I'm getting there. Things have been harder lately because of the pandemic, of course. Although I'm not expected directly, my income dropped dangerously this past month. And I'm hoping things will pick up this month with the holiday season too. Um, that's also why I'm trying to come back hard on YouTube because I know you guys uh, will like uh, maybe try to help if you can. So if you can't support me, the best way to do so is to share the video, like I said, like and comment. And even if you don't buy anything, just share my shop link. It will help so much. I'm going to release a new coloring book early November, but if you're not familiar with those, I actually have already three out in my store. The link will be below the video if you'd like to check all this all out, as well as this crystal original and the print. Thanks for joining me during this video. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you in two weeks with another one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.